going there guys, Dr. Phil Hot, and today's episode one of Cue the Drum Roll drrr, NHL 16 Be a Gem with the Anaheim Ducks. So I asked you guys which GM mode should I do next or which team I should do in GM mode. And there was some a lot of um up, well, a lot of options to pick from. But I decided in the end to pick a team that's playoff ready. But that's not technically a Stanley Cup contender. So teams like Anaheim, Detroit, San Jose, uh, San Jose, uh, you could say Philadelphia. You know, teams like that, which are for sure thing to make the playoffs, but that don't really go far in the playoffs, and that never really are considered a Stanley Cup contender. Those are those that that was one of the teams I, w I wanted to do and I picked Anaheim it was a toss-up between Detroit and Anaheim but since there's a lot of Detroit GM modes going on on YouTube and there's not really there's none I think for Anaheim on YouTube so I decided to do Anaheim but it was really a toss-up because you don't both teams have their things uh, Detroit being a team that they always make the playoffs no matter what but then again they don't get past the second round and then you have Anaheim, which it was a big surprise this year that they lost against Nashville. But um, they, they're always a team that are, they're going to make the playoffs for sure. But then again, they won't get past the third round to the max. So the last time that they were this good, that they were like good, it was back in 2007 when they won the cup. After that, it's been meh. And I didn't really want to do a rebuild team like Edmonton, Calgary, Carolina already did, or well, Florida is a team that sort of is on the edge, but you got Vancouver, Winnipeg, teams like that. You know, you need a long, long enough GM mode, and you got teams who are already Stanley Cup contenders like Tampa Bay. Um, you could say St. Louis, even though they haven't proven yet, but they are. Chicago, LA, you know, just teams like that. Those are easy GM mode. So if we do the right tweaking to Anaheim, we could get them to win the Stanley Cup. Like, with the roster right now, they're for sure going to win the Stanley Cup. It's just a matter of them getting other players that could progress them to the Stanley Cup. Uh, turn it off. Like, if you look at the roster right now, like, hell, man, they are great. But then, you go first line, yeah, great. Second line, yeah, okay, good. Cogliano, I could, he's quick, but then again, I, nah. You got two two-way forwards playing with a sniper. And then you got the third line, which is like, it's their goon line. And you got a fourth line, which is just depth to the team. Even though you got Raquel, which is playing, which is still young. But uh, I'm just saying, with the right players, with the, white, the right tweaking, we could make them a Stanley Cup contender. And a team that's always going to be like, hey, Anaheim this year, I think they're going to win the Cup. Just because, you know, just last year they did this. So that's my reason why I took uh, Anaheim. Like I said, it was a toss-up between Anaheim and Detroit, but due to other people doing Detroit gem modes, there's a lot. I don't want to like overflow gem modes on YouTube for like the same thing. And Anaheim, I don't, I didn't see anybody doing it right now, so you know it's a different, it's different. I'm not like one of those YouTubers out there, like, oh yeah, uh, ten people are doing the gem mode for Detroit. I'll just, I'll, I'll put my opinion in it. So it was pretty, but uh, then again, for NHL 17, it will be. I kind of want to do a rebuild team for NHL 17. Just because NHL 17 Gemmo looks mint as of right now. And I cannot wait for it to play it. But yeah, so this episode we're going to do is we're going to look at the roster. Do some line editing. Maybe some potential trades. And we might do the preseason if we, uh, if we want. Or if I want. Depending on how long it is. Okay, so this... This is what the assistant coach thinks of for our lines. Then again, I don't want to... Um, there, It is pretty good. You got Gesloff, Corey, and... Um, or Corey Perry and Silverberg on the first line. Yeah, I will keep that first line there. Uh, yeah, key playmaker with a power forward and a sniper. Yeah, that's good. Then you got Cogliano, Kessler, and Haglin. Which, I could maybe switch up Cogliano to the third line just because I could try to get another playmaker. I could get a playmaker just so he could feed Hagelin. Kessler, Kessler, yeah, he's a two-way forward. His passing, his puck skill categories is average, but if I can get a good playmaker to play alongside them, they could become a scoring asset. Because you got Carl Hagelin, which is 
a sniper, which is a sister room category's map, but he's got that speed. Same thing with Cogliano. He's got that speed. But Cogliano would be good on the third line. But then again, my third line is kind of a goon line, except for Harkov. But Maroon, goon, and Chris Stewart, pretty much goon. I don't learn, I don't want to like say they're goon, but I'm just saying they're they're mostly for physical category. And the fourth line, fourth line is just depth. So uh, we'll try to get playmaker. That's my first thing. Goalie wise, nah, not really. Don't really need anybody. But uh, we'll go, we'll go check our HL. See who we have. Uh, nah, nobody. Okay, yeah, we do have Nick Ritchie. I remember that. So Nick Ritchie is a player for the future that will probably be what's his potential. He's an elite. Right now he's good for the fourth, um, fourth line, but. He will probably be a future Ryan Getzloff if he plays well. You know, that is just an early on opinion. He's still 19, but if he if we play it right and he plays good, he could be a future Ryan Getzloff. So we have Nick Ritchie, Stefan Nielsen from, uh, he, he came from Ottawa with that Silverberg trade. So that's another, uh, that's another uh, prospect that if he plays well, he will, he'll become a uh, future two-way forward. Probably will be Max uh, second line, but uh, we could see. Other than that, uh, nope, no, no, Enforcer, no, 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 and no. We'll see what and uh, I want to check my uh, I check the goaltending. I don't think we have a f okay. We have John Gibson. I remember that. Yeah, so John Gibson is a franchise goaltender. Yeah, we're gonna go. First things first is we are going to move up John Gibson to the NHL. Uh, goalies. Yeah, John Gibson. NHL. And we'll uh, drop down Kudubin. Oh, Anderson's getting... Wow, okay. Wow, Kudubin I could trade right now. Uh, finish. Confirm. Because no way in hell I'm putting uh, John Gibson. Yeah, he's, his role is a starting goaltender now. So we could maybe trade bait Anderson. That's the thing. We could maybe trade bait Anderson. Just because it's it's a toss up. Either you want Gibson. It's either we want Gibson or we want Anderson. So that is a trade bait. Because right now, uh, was it uh, remaining? He's got one more year left on his contract and remaining. He's got one more year left also, basically. So, it's either we put our faith into Gibson and he's going to be a future stud, which he is, franchise. Or we keep Anderson, which is going to be an elite goaltender. But I think I'll, I think I want to keep Gibson. At it lines. Goalies. Damn. Yeah, so we have nobody. Okay, I want to keep could have been. I think we have nobody else for goaltending wise. What about Frager? Nope. Watson, no. Marku, no. And that's it. And my hackett, yeah, he's just French starter, okay. Okay, so that is basically for our roster. I do want to go check out some players that they haven't signed yet. But uh, we will play Gibson instead of Anderson. Anderson will be a trade bait. I want to keep... I want to play Gibson as much as I can. So he can... So he can develop an NHL career. Even though last year he didn't really play that much. So Anderson Anderson's obviously... He's already a good goaltender. So... But I do want to try Gibson for the preseason. See how he does. But um, yeah, we will go check out some. Uh, I want to go check out my roster before that. Okay, so let's go view contracts. And see what else we have there. I didn't check my defense. That's one thing. It's one thing I didn't check also. Okay, so the inside... Sirtoff, and other than that, that's pretty much it. A lot of players are going to be unsigned next season. And it's going to be fun. Oh, yeah. Defensive-wise for Anaheim, I forgot that. 
Okay, so let's go edit line. Edit line. Yeah, because they're... Plié, put your upside down. I'll see. Okay, so for defensive wise, we have Camp Fowler. We got Hampus Lindholm, which is going to be a stud muffin in the future, obviously. Uh, Sammy Vatanen, which is obviously going to be another good defenseman in the future. Simo Desprez, top four, good future defenseman. And then you got two depth defensemen. And, but we do have Kevin Bieksa also. Defensive wise, we're good. So if I go defense, we don't have any other more defense coming up other than she's uh, Shea Theodore so we're probably going to have to check out for the draft either a goaltender or a um, a defenseman then again I don't yeah, we could maybe do a forward also but uh, for let's go let's really let's do I'll do it my trading block right now and then we'll try to do the preseason and see what, what we end up with uh, okay so trade a uh, trading block. A uh, trading block. Actually, here's what's gonna happen. Our first rounder we could deal, but here is what we're going to do. Anderson has a big, big trade value. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put him as bait. And then put our first rounder also just because of the fact that we want somebody. There we go. And then surplus, no, we want want. What do we want? Okay, so defensive wise, yeah, so potential. Uh, we want this. This is what we want. We want a playmaker, so. Want somebody that's young ish. Uh, second line, I could do a third line scoring line. That has potential. And what do we want? Yeah, that's pretty much it right there. We want, and then we want goaltending. Let's just put goaltending just because young goaltender that has an ish good potential. Here we go. Uh, current picks, we want first and second always. And then future picks, we want first and second always. So for playmaker... Mm, we have a lot of defense. We do have a lot of defense. So let's go check out uh, some some trades. I was maybe thinking Andres Palat, but then again, yeah, it's a gamble with him. It's also money with him. But I could go for Monahan's what two way forward? No, yeah, two way forward. That was right. I want a playmaker. Which would have to be maybe Sam Bennett. Sam Bennett would be good. But then again, it could cost us very deeply in the future. Uh, does it say a roll? A uh, Yuri Hoodler. Ooh. Yuri Hoodler, maybe, maybe. That's the back of my mind. Was it Granlin? No, Granlin bottom. Uh, not Joel Colburn. Yeah, maybe Sam Bennett. Yeah, it would be costly in the future for us. But then again, you never know. Uh, Colorado. Colorado, who do they have? They have... Check potential-wise. Uh, Duchesne, no. Too much money. Way too much money. Nope. Dallas. Dallas can maybe go with Jason Spezza. But then again, it's a good 7.5 mil into our uh, into our cap. Dallas again, then again, nope. Detroit, Detroit will probably, probably, uh, was it uh, Nyquist? Again, it is a hit to our cap. Henrik Zetterberg. Oh, Datsuk retired. Ah, could be retiring. 
I could always go for Edmonton. They have a lot of good players. Ebbs, Hall, Sniper. McDavid's a playmaker. Uh, Leon Dreisaitl, I think he's a playmaker. Not too wait forward. Oh, I could go for the nah, the new gen again. It is... What is he? First line? Second line forward. But I kind of want somebody that's already a good playmaker. And that's not going to cost me that much in the future. Yarmy Yager, obviously. Like, Jonathan Huberto. I could probably go for Jonathan Huberto. I think it would be costly. Because we have what? We got six. We got seven mil in our cap. Uh, New York. Uh, we could... Derek Broussard. That would be... Somebody that's already solidified. Five million. And he's a second line. Derek Broussard. That has good skating category. Physical, don't mind. Uh, shooting, average. Defense, average. Puck skills, good. That's what I want. Puck skills is a want. Look at passing, 87. That's good. Skating, good. Shooting, good. Playmaker. That is a solid playmaker right there. Derek Broussard. Thinking when we do trade Anderson, we'll, we would we're, we are going to save some cap space. But then again, I go for Cal Turris. That is another. Oh, he's got three alerts on. Oh, Cal Turris. Cheap, cheap, cheapy, cheapy. Cal Turris again. That's another good playmaker. But he's a first line. I'm not gonna. I'm not going to do that to him. Okay, so Derek Broussard is on the back of my mind right now. Uh, Philadelphia, no, I don't want that. Pittsburgh, nope, don't think of anybody. San Jose, maybe. Uh, Patrick Marlowe, no. These are old. I don't want any old players. Uh, San Luis, I could go for, could go for, no, back as I think he's, what, a two-way forward? A power forward, Steve, no. Ooh, Fabry, nah. Not there yet. Stasny, too much. And Tampa. Tampa is polite. That's the guy I'd want to get. He's an elite. And not that much money. Two years left, okay. Uh, other than that, it's sort of ish. Ah, I could get Felter, Philip Lowe. At 5 mil, he's still... He's old. He's getting older. Uh, but uh, then again, that's another solid playmaker. Which I could play center. Yeah, but we do have Kessler. And that's about it. So I think Derek Broussard would be a solid guy to get. Just because his poten his like, his like um, potential is done. He's hit. He's probably hit his prime. So $5 million for that, it's good enough. We're not going to spend more money on Derek Broussard. That's the thing. Because his prime is done. His prime is done. He's got four years left on his contract. A $5 million contract. And, oh, yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. And if we do trade Anderson along with it, we could probably get something else. Do they want any of our goalies? We could probably, yeah, there we go. Frederick Anderson... We could, ah, uh, that'd be a lot, a lot of lopsided trade. <laughs> Go get Blunquist. Get Halverson. Yeah, his backup, potential backup. There you go. And, uh, yeah, you have to trade a, a deadbeat, a deadbeat player. Well, deadbeat, but I mean that we don't, we, we have to trade, like, somebody, like, somebody that we really don't need. Like this, <laughs> like this guy. That we that'd be kind of lopsided on our, on our side again. So we're gonna have to add a first rounder. Oh, that's right. They don't have any. Like that'd probably be an ideal trade right there. But then again, 
I doubted they'd take it because they have Lundqvist in net. They, they wouldn't want another goalie. But we'll see what's up. Derek Broussard is a guy in the back of my mind that I will keep an eye on. It's either that, Palat, or Sam Bennett. It's between those three guys just because uh, Palat will probably be coming 90 at the max. And Sam Bennett probably an 87, 88 at the max. So we don't want to spend that much. Okay, so what was I doing? I was doing... Okay, so lines, quick things, and we'll do the preseason, and we'll just end the episode there. Gonna have to think on some... Uh... Gonna have to think on some trades, but... You know, Gibson... It's between Gibson and Anderson. I kind of want to keep Gibson just because... Franchise goaltender, if we do play it well... But I could wait a season. I could see if Anaheim will win the cup without any players added onto our roster. So uh, we'll just do... Ooh, one thing before we do that is we got to turn the injuries off. Because that is going to be a bitch. If uh, we do get some injured players. Okay, is it just me or just cannot see injuries? Penalty, game, difficulty... There you go, injuries. Man, I'm blind. I'm blind. I'm getting blind. Okay, preseason. Let's start this up. Enough of my babbling. But, uh, like I said, three players, Sam Bennett, Palat, or Derek Broussard, will be ideal for the team. I want a second liner. Palat could probably play the first line in the future if he plays good enough. But they are, they are players that will be that could fit on my roster. That thing I, I do not want to overflow the shit out of my uh, my players, and that's a loss. We're three three in the preseason. Ah, actually, we'll uh, we'll do one more. We'll we'll start off the season. We'll do a month of season. We'll just kick it off real quick. Okay. Okay. We'll see how um, we'll see how uh, Gibson does. What do you want, Harkov? Blah blah blah. Be part of the solution, not the goddamn problem. Okay, first game of the season, San Jose Sharks. Can we win it? There we go, two to one win. We lose again. Uh, we or is it going to be a win lose situation like we like always? Uh, no. The thing at Edmonton would be pretty sick. Decline. For now. It's going to be a win-loss. Ooh, shootout loss. Gibson, you're going to... Uh, dismiss for now. Ah. Uh, ooh, Shea Theodore. And, ooh, they want two first-rounders. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, Boston, huh? You really want Theodore. They really want Shea Theodore. Depends how Boston does. Don't want to do anything just yet. Okay, so Gibson is getting better. No, sorry, Edmonton. Yes, the year of Austin Matthews. The year of Austin Matthews. Jacob Shinkram. Was it uh, Patrick Lane? Man, this is going to be a good year. So I think Boston, we could we could trade Theodore to Boston. So John Gibson is getting better. I think so. Or did he put... Is it auto-rotate goalie? I think it's auto-rotate goalie, which I forgot to change again. Goalies. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. Uh -huh. These are our wins. Yeah, that's why. That is why. <laughs> but Anderson got us all those wins. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the first episode, guys. I don't know if I want to either... We could trade Theodore to Boston, get two first-rounders, and 
make it a depth a depth draft for us and we could um use players in the future but then again i could not trade boston and shea theater and get a good defenseman in the future but the main thing i want is should i trade this year should i trade either anderson or gibson to another team and um and get a playmaker for that second line playing alongside Ryan Kessler, Carl Hagelin, and we could trade a uh, we could uh, switch Nick. Um, no, that's not Nick Benino. It's fucking uh, Andrew Cogliano. It's either it's that, but three players come to mind: Sam Bennett, Derek Broussard, and uh, Andres Palat. Those are the three players that come to mind. I don't know. Just give me recommendations, and we'll uh, I'll judge it out. So if you guys remember to subscribe and we'll see you guys next time. So bye-bye.